Here comes the hitman. Oh, uh, yeah, the excellence of execution. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett Hart is a multi-time champion and one of the toughest competitors in WWE history. It seems the Hitman is... Oh, man. The excitement level just went through the roof in this arena. One half a team extreme. The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. And introducing the champion, representing the Hardy Boys, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! A true daredevil in every sense of the word, Jeff Hardy is immune to fear. Synonymous with tag team title reigns, a former United States champion, former world heavyweight champion, And introducing the champion, representing the Hardy Boys. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. It certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars... Here we go. Drew kick. <laughs> Hits the mark. The dangers in this kind of match are endless. Byron, what could we expect in this one? It's all about the dangers of the unknown. The fight could go anywhere. An attack can come from anywhere. Well, this is when we see just how far someone's willing to go to defeat their opponent. Because anything goes. Drop kick. Great challenger One, two. plenty of fight left that's way too close Fred Hart has never been consumed with so much anger Hart interferes in other people's matches interrupts other superstars interview segments you don't ascend to the heights the hitman has in this business by having a cavalier attitude Cole Bret Hart is a proud competitor who's trying to restore prestige and honor to the WWE Championship not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. Jeff Hardy came up big in that exchange. Tornado oh. DDT! Viking DDT! Oh! Hip drop! Incredible drop! Setting him up for the flatliner. Ah, oh, snap there. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. I want to take it back to what you guys said about the Hitman's change of heart. It seems like the more Brett airs his grievances, the more people feel he's complaining. Oh, spare me, Saxton. You don't know about being an elite competitor. This is the excellence of execution. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. You are the worst ever. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match, but still keep the championship. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. A surprise reversal from Jeff Hardy. Oh, 
sit up. Jawbreaker. Eating through a straw for a week. There's the cover. Looking for the victory. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. The Hitman staying alive in this match. So resilient. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. And there's the reversal for Bret Hart. came up big in that exchange. Back now inside the ring. Two superstars, and they both only want one thing in the world, to be called WWE Intercontinental Champion. And now, they'll have their chance. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly have all your wits about you. Red Hart looking to end things. Sharpshooter! Ah, uh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free coal, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Bello Buster! Check out Jeff Hardy. DDT! Rocket hits the mark! The champ to the top turnbuckle. Here it comes. Another big move! One time bomb! Can it be? Will the rain continue? Bret Hart's just getting overwhelmed. Gotta figure something out. We've seen him here a few times tonight. He knows he's in trouble. He's looking for yet another. And there's the reversal for Bret Hart. What a suplex. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. The Dragon Scream Changer. And oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Ah, oh, Jeff Hardy, a thing of beauty. Firing back now, inverted atomic drop, and here comes Jeff. Vicious Hardy. And Hardy, the champion into the cover. Near fall after near fall in this matchup here. He's still in this. Oh. Check right to the midsection. The WWE Universe willing these superstars on. Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. Referee in position. Two. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. The champ to the top turnbuckle. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. A championship level move. Now, two, Jeff Hardy. Three, three, three. Understandably so. Jeff Hardy is overjoyed to remain champion. Take a look back at how the hitman missed his target.
This was a much needed win. I don't know if there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant champion. Guys, I literally got chills after watching that thrilling championship match. Nothing fancy here. Set up for the... I think business is about to pick up. 